Hi everyone, welcome to Sunday Runday. I'm Brett from Run Queensland, and today I'm pretty excited. I'm joined by my friend and chief enabler of Girls Run This Town, Elle Fisher. Hey Elle. Hey Brett, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm very, really good. So, um, thought we'd get you on Sunday Run Day today. Um, you play a huge, you and Girls Run This Town play a huge part in Runs Queen, Run Queensland events. Um, a lot of people may or may not realise how much you guys, especially at our sign on and Black Hole 100 around checkpoint one, around that first 22 Ks, but really especially um, for me on the Friday night, um, you guys just basically own that area at registration and run it for us. And it's just, we're really grateful for that. So firstly, um, do you want to introduce to everyone girls around this town and what it's all about? I mean, I've been for a couple of runs with you guys and it's always really good fun. So do you want to have a little bit of a chat about how it came about and how you became the chief enabler? All right. Well, it is definitely about fun and that's what running should be about. Um, so that's a big thing for us. It's a, a social group for women of all levels of running. So we have some very, very fast runners and then we have people that get more bang for their buck from their entry fee. It's probably <laughs> the best way to describe it. Um, we meet, we have regular group runs, we have training sessions, uh, road and trails. Uh, it's just a way for everyone to connect um, safely. Uh, yeah. It's been a, a great conduit for people that have joined our community and may not have those friendship groups established as well. Running's a great icebreaker, we find, so it's a good way to connect with new people. Yeah, I noticed you got, I think it's about, uh, was it nearly 1,700 uh, people following on Facebook? Mm. Um, and I know predominantly you guys are from the Moreton Bay region, which anyone who's in Australia is basically the uh, Red Cliff kind of area, Caboolture, that sort of thing. Um, does it reach any further than that, I think? And can you just let us know how long it's been going as well? Yeah, we've been around since 2015. So we've kind of established um, a good, really good connection within our local area. We do have a small group up in Mullaney as well, taking advantage of the beautiful Sunshine Coast hinterland. Mm. Uh, but we are spoilt for choice with running around here. So as you said, we've got Redcliffe with a beautiful foreshore and just kilometres of, of great running paths. We've got the trails and Glasshouse Mountains so close by. Uh, we've got Bunyaville, lots of spots around to run. If I remember correctly, um, talking maybe, I think back in the day, it may have been Audrey Harvey mentioned that she wanted to get a group together for ladies to run to feel safe as a group, um, whether it be in the bush or on the road. But I think if, if, that, if I'm correct, that, that was one of the reasons for the group starting. Can you talk any anything about that? Absolutely. Yeah, or, this was really Audrey's, Audrey's baby um, and she started off. And that was the reason for, to allow people to connect. And I guess for a lot of women, particularly if they've got children or they've got a career, Finding time to run might mean they're running after hours or early mornings in the dark. So doing that on your own may be an issue of safety, but if you've got somebody that you know you can run with, similar pace, it was just a way to connect. And it's just grown from there. Well, I've done, I've done a couple of runs um, uh, as a interim, I suppose, girl, <laughs> and where we've, been out on, where we've been out on trails that I know around the Glasshouse Mountains. And... Um, the one thing that always sort of I notice is that the amount of smiles and the amount of chatter that goes on mm. around, like, I mean, I've been there sort of by myself to a degree with a little bit and had some really nice conversations with people about the why they run and everyone has a different story. And that's one of the things that really stood out to me how, um, yeah, sort of how everyone got in there and it was so much fun to be around that. Absolutely. Just... We have ladies that join us and they, they might say to us at the start, I just want to run 5K without mm. stopping. That's my only goal. And yeah. we give them a little warning that, it, you know, getting involved in the group does, you start to sign up to some crazy things. Um, I was talking to one member the other night who came to us just to start running and she signed up for Black All. Yeah. Uh, so she's now training. She's really excited about it. And it's great to see that passion I um, think, um... behind. Oh, look, and when you watch those guys cross the line, especially the newer guys that do that 50K, but the amount of hours we've got to finish it, they, um, 
the elation on their faces. And I've spoken to a few of these guys before that when they've just started and we've been out on recce runs and stuff. And the, the questions that they have that kind of get answered throughout that 50K for themselves, as they cross that line, you just see that smile and you think, anyone can do this kind of stuff. It's just that little bit of belief and groups like yours that allow that sort of space to get in there and, and feel confident that, you know, you can see people that just started like you and, and they're out there doing it. I mean, I know you've done the black hole uh, once, but you, you poor thing, you get lugged with doing all the bloody work there. I know you were there from the <laughs> Thursday with us last year. Absolutely. And I, I love it. I love when we do sign in and you can see the people that are coming in and they're the seasoned runners and they're very comfortable with what they're about to do. But then you see the first timers and you can see fear on their face. Like they're, they're having that moment where they've gone, holy hell, what have I signed up for? Yeah. And I think we greet them with a smile and we try and reassure them that they just need to stop focus during the race and remember why they started and just oh, to enjoy what they're doing I, I think it all begins with you guys on the friday night with that kind <laughs> of what gets brought to the event from that perspective i think that's what um when i hear people talk about how much they enjoy it i think it's to do with the whole experience and how they connect with with people and it mm. starts with you guys that minute that that happens it's kind of like a bit like clockwork now for you guys but yeah it's it is pretty special <laughs> Um, it's going to be even more special this year too, I'm thinking. Well, the numbers actually say that too. Um, yeah, they're, they're up from last year. So um, for us, we were sort of, you know, all events getting landed around us and stuff, which you kind of got to do in this, mm. these times. Um, and I guess it kind of makes you appreciate to be able to go to an event where we've had one cancelled already. And yeah, for us, um, mm. how, does that, how does that actually look... But, um, do you want to talk a little bit about how you guys train? I know that you have training nights. Do you want to give everyone a little mm. bit of a plug about that and then what it actually looks like at the moment or maybe doesn't look like? <laughs> well, thankfully, we are back to doing our group runs now. We've had a few months without them and I think that's given everyone a chance to, I guess, appreciate, you know, the beauty of running with other people. Um, yeah. As we've had over the last couple of months running in isolation or just running with one other individual, you do miss that group chat that you were talking about. Mm. You know, I think the big thing, we have a Monday night social run and it's very much social. Um, it's a recovery run for a lot of people after they've done a big effort on the weekend and it's a yeah. chance to just start the week off in good spirits. Um, it's a reason to look forward to Mondays, I guess. Um, can you, talk, can you, can you yeah. um, when you're talking about it, Elle, can you just sort of talk because I'm sort of thinking that there might be people that might want to watch this in the area that may want to join Girls Run This Town based, on their, anatomy, so... based on their anatomy, of course. <laughs> um, but if you could um, just sort of mention what a slow run is, because you might have new people that are thinking about getting off the couch to do this, what it looks like each session that you guys do. Absolutely. We try and pick routes that we can cater for all speeds. So we'll try and have an out and back run. Uh, so we'll have a distance set for our runners that are quite capable of running the entire way. And then we'll tell those that are either wanting to walk or do a combination of running and walking that they turn at a particular minute. So they might go out for 20 minutes and come back. So you're looking at 40 minutes. And even if it's 40 minutes of walking, that's 40 minutes of activity, yeah. which is a great way to start off your week. Um, we're really careful to obviously try and match people up with paces if they're new. So mm -hmm. they're with somebody else who knows the course. In COVID at the moment, obviously, we're restricted to 20 people on a run and we have to maintain registrations and things like that. So it looks a little different to what it normally does. Yeah. Um, even the group shots are a little bit different at the moment. We're not all <laughs> I noticed them the other gathered time. in. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, you also do other sessions, though, too, don't you? I, I'm pretty sure, well, they might be going at the moment. There was someone that was taking some coaching and speed sessions. Are they still going? Yeah, our coaching sessions with Nu, uh, who is just a flash, um, they've started up again. So Nu's um, just an amazing runner. She's uh, She pulled a sub-three marathon last year, sub-three mm. hour. Mm. Um, so that had been something she'd been working towards um, for quite some time. Uh, I, I will say it, News just hit a milestone birthday this year. So for any women out there that wonder, you know, what they can do, News consistently gotten faster with her pace and she's, you know, hit the mid-century mark. Can we say that? Oh, yeah. So I think, I think it's actually important to let people know about 
ages no barrier. I mean, you know, to be running those kind of times at 50, I, mean, I think I spoke to her briefly here in Glasshouse and got to know her a little bit. And I thought, you know, if she's coaching and knows how to get to this stuff, that's really mm. important. That was on a, was that on a Tuesday or Thursday night? That one? Wednesday night for Wednesday our intervals. Night. And we also yeah. have another social run on Wednesday nights. We have yeah. a run on the weekends as well. Yeah. Um, obviously, park runs normally a big factor for us too. That's mm. something we're missing out on at the moment and events as well. Yeah. Um, there's nothing like going along to a group run or a, an event, um, repping your club shirt and, and knowing when you're out on the course, if you see somebody else in the distance in the same shirt, they're there, give yeah. them a cheer, go grit. It's awesome. Yeah, okay. So with grit, um, do you want to talk a bit about anyone who was thinking about joining, how they can get in contact with you? Um, I know that there is a membership component. Do you want to just talk? I know that yeah. there's... A, how do you want to just talk about how people would look at potentially signing up and what it might cost um, and all that sort of stuff? Absolutely. So um, we're an accredited club with Queensland Athletics through their Q Run program, which means when you run in any of our uh, group runs, you're covered through insurance, which is a good um, good safety net for people to know that's there. If you go to our Facebook page, you can um, there's a link for our signing up. It's through a, a portal called Revolutionise Sports. Um, yep. So it's twenty dollars for an annual fee, and that's all you pay. Um, you have access to the group training sessions. We have some discounts with some wonderful suppliers. Perhaps even run Queensland for some of those. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's it's a nice way. Um, we also have regular competitions as well, so we give away some prizes to our members as well. Yeah. Um, for us, it's about the love of the sport and just making it accessible for everyone. Um, oh, yeah. Just going back to you on age, we actually have a, a little subset of the group who are our running nanas. Okay. So these are, <laughs> when I say we're open to all ages, we have kids under 10 and then we have ladies up into their 70s running with us. So yeah. there is absolutely no barrier for age. That's fantastic. Has it branched out further than just this kind of Morton area now? Have you sort of Not at this stage. Further? We... We would love to. I mean, girls run the town. Look, we know we run the world. Um, so maybe there's a plan for global domination in the future for us. So stay tuned. Oh, yeah, you certainly got a... I, I see <laughs> loads of the shirts at our events. It's pretty It's pretty cool. I mean, I, I think it's fantastic, the whole sort of concept. So um, what was I going to say? So if people want to uh, get in contact with you, what's the best way to do it? Um, whereabouts? Yep. Message our Facebook page. Um, yep. is probably or you can follow us on Instagram as well. Um, so both are just girls run this town. Um, and if you're in the Moreton Bay region, then um, have a look on Facebook. We have a private group. Uh, so there's over 1,200 members in that. Um, so the chances are you'll find somebody at any run that's at your pace. So if anyone is contacting you, they're contacting you personally? Are you the one that they'll contact? You'll get a response from me, yep. So... Um, I, lo I love meeting new people, getting the chance to understand the why, I think, behind why people run is fascinating for me. Um, oh, it's my favourite thing. Yeah, there's some really great stories out there and some people, and I think often, um, you know, given we volunteer at, at quite a few events, you know, the back of the pack is always the best place to um, find the inspirational stories, I find. <laughs> We've got plenty of time to have a chat, that's for sure. I know <laughs> that's that's what I kind of like about it too. You get you get time to know people. Yeah, and you find stuff out mm -hmm. about people, don't you, that you'd never normally get in a real, like a conversation on the sort of, at a, even at a party or something, you know what I mean? Oh, with runners, I don't think there are any taboo subjects, I have yeah. to say. <laughs> it's fun, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. yeah have, you got, have you got any events coming up? Not for me. I am looking forward to Black All this year. Um, and that's really, I guess, our chance to give back to the sport that we love. Um, you know, seeing the smiles of faces when they, when you run into them at checkpoints. Um, so we see the 100K runners when they're nice and fresh very early on. Yeah. But then, um, you know, we enjoy heading out to checkpoint four and seeing people there and then sitting at the finish line and, and watching them come in. Yeah. And just seeing, you know, the, the journey that people have been on um, over those you know, however many hours it takes. Um, yeah. For us, yeah. it's a celebration of the distance and 
to see that transformation from that scared person that we've seen at check-in to the elation when um, when you cross that finish line and ring that bell is is just why we're there. I, th I think that's another thing too. I should have said that I really enjoy watching is the support that you girls, I mean, give to everyone, but, you know, especially when you see one of your... <laughs> Am I going to say purple? Is it a purple? Uh, we're in a, yeah, it's a pink, um, purple sleeves um, yeah. that you see at the moment. We've when got some black your, and white too. But. Yeah, well, when you see those start to come in, you think, wow. <laughs> you know, like, and you guys really feel it and support each other. It's a pretty cool environment. Yeah, absolutely. You know, hanging out at the end and seeing people come in is just, just amazing. If, if you've never been to one of the events and maybe you've thought about it, um, and you're not quite ready to do it, come up and hang out at Black Hall for the day this year. Set yourself that goal. I guarantee you will be inspired. We'll, we'll have to do another recce soon, get some, get some running. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Once well, this crazy world sorts itself out. Yeah, it's full on, isn't it? <laughs> so, I mean, it's interesting, though, but anyway, you learn, you learn a lot about yourself in this time. I know I have, so. Yeah, Definitely. So what's the highlight going to be at Blackhall for you this year, Brett? Uh, getting it on. We've got some special guests. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, we're sort of, I mean, it's all, uh, you know, it's a bit funny at the moment. We, we had some people coming from Finland, so they've just had to pull out for obvious reasons. You know, they're not going to probably get here, and it's a real shame, you know. It would have been quite special, but, yeah, they've sort of, we've had to sort of work with them and sort of sort their refund out for them, so... Um, yeah, it'll be interesting. Look, we'll be just happy to see everyone there. I'm hoping, I'm hoping there's not too much distance there because I'll be happy to frigging high five and hug everyone as they come across the line. I'm happy to stay awake the whole time as usual, you know, just waiting for that last person to get across the line, which is always usually towards 24 hours. So, oh, look, I, I just think, and just meeting, catching up with everyone that we get to year in, year out, you know, it's what you just said, Elle, I just love it. It's so much fun to be around. I mean, it's hectic, but... Oh, it's a crazy weekend, um, but it's good for the soul. Yeah. Uh, and I think last year, last year was fabulous when we had Dean um, and particularly Dean and Lisa the night before, um, Yeah, well, you know, still, on the Thursday night. Yeah, we've still got Lucy coming, so we're still um, hopefully going to have a bit of a night with her and all that. We're just going to make sure that everything falls into line with um, all these regulations and stuff. Hopefully it'll be backed off by then and we can sort of get back to a normal thing. But, yeah, that, that's the sort of plan. So, but... Um, Fabulous. Yeah. But anyway, we're not talking about me. We're supposed to be talking about girls. <laughs> around the but, look, I, I just wanted to sort of say thanks for spending some time with us. Um, you know, Girls Run This Town's a fantastic um, group of people. You know, they're lucky to have a person like you that's in there and I know it takes a lot of hours to do all this stuff in the background to keep these things afloat. So if anyone in the Moreton Bay region is looking to join a running group that um, is obviously female, um, reach out to Elle. She's on Facebook. I'll put the link in the description there so that people can find it. Um, yeah, and thanks for joining us for Sunday Run Day. Thanks, Brett. It was Thanks for reaching out. It was great to catch up and have a chat. Uh, and the other thing I just wanted to say, thanks to all of Girls Run This Town that um, are at all of our events and help event in all these events. You know, um, we couldn't do it without you and we're so appreciative of it. So um, thanks again, Al. Thanks, Brad. Okay, take care. Bye. Bye.